Amazon Prime's The Rings of Power has finally wrapped up its first season, and along with it comes tons of cliffhangers. Because of this, fans have been exchanging theories online on what could happen next in this hit fantasy series. And for today's episode, we'll be listing down the best Reddit fan theories fans have for The Rings of Power Season 2, so make sure you tune in if you want to know more. Following the thrilling conclusion of The Rings of Power, Reddit users quickly came up with some intriguing theories regarding the eagerly anticipated second season. And by the way, today's video contains major spoilers from the show's season finale, so consider yourselves warned. Season 1 of The Rings of Power closed with several record-scratching moments that both excited and perplexed people around the world after seven weeks of record-breaking viewing. Despite some conflicting opinions, the series has been praised for Bear McCreary's outstanding score, amazing graphics, and compelling performances all around, with the news that it will be closer to the novels. The three elven rings of power were forced the chilling revelation that Halbrand is Sauron was made, and a touching allusion to the identity of the stranger were all part of the season 1 finale. While everything is going on, there are still some lingering uncertainties regarding what will happen to the inhabitants of Middle-earth in season 2. As soon as possible, some fans went to Reddit to give their predictions for what would happen and who might appear next. So let's begin today's video with the other rings. Many people consider Tolkien's intricate knowledge to be sacrosanct, which which has turned some people away from the Rings of Power because of its compressed timeline and some of the creative liberties it took. The finale's order in which the rings were made was one method they accomplished this. After the creation of the seven dwarven rings and the nine rings for men, the three elven rings, Narya, Nenya, and Vilya, are constructed according to the texts without Sauron's guidance. The grandiose picture of Halbrin slash Sauron returning to Mordor, however, prompted many amusing tweets. This is entirely dependent on Galadriel and possibly Elrond or Gilgalad departing Eregion, but narratively that's easy enough to do. According to Redditor Blu-ray High Def, Sauron will return to Eregion in Season 2 as Halbrand again and persuade Celebrimbor to manufacture the other rings with him. The key question is whether Celebrimbor will continue to believe Halbrand. Because the finale didn't show him to be as aware of the trick as Elrond, some believe he may already be tainted. One other thing that got Rings of Power our fans is the order of things. There are further possibilities for the second season's development of the other rings. It may turn out that they will move through the various groups season by season. First the elves, then the dwarves, and ultimately the men. According to Redditor, so woke I don't sleep, Sauron will just visit the various races, go to the dwarven lords in their stone palaces, and persuade them to forge the rings, which will result in conflict between the dwarves and the elves, if not open war. Sauron did not create the elven rings, which makes them unique. However, he must have been present when the other rings were made to control them. Sauron as Halbrand will have to meet up with Celebrimbor and the lords and kings who will inherit the rings, whether it be Eregion, Khazad-dûm, or somewhere else. Moving forward with the next theory, fans have also talked about Galadriel's struggle. Galadriel must solve an extremely difficult puzzle. She probably can't tell the other elves who Halbrand is or why he suddenly vanished, at least not right away. Whether it's out of fear or respect for her pride, according to one Redditor who goes by the username, Hrothgar underscore signing, Galadriel can't tell the elves because after all of this, he's Sauron, and she can't keep the truth from Elrond for long. Gilgalad sent her away in the hopes that her leaving Middle-earth and the end of her search for Sauron would prevent his approach returning. Unfortunately, she unintentionally confirmed his assertion. She welcomed him back to do even more hurt to build the strength to combat her adversary. For a while, she will have to keep that a secret. She might at the very least be able to inform Gilgalad, who in the novels was not deceived by Sauron in the same way that Anatar was. Next, another hot topic fans have been talking about is Elrond's future. Even though he doesn't fully understand the situation, Elrond is aware of Halbrand's deceit. He is aware that the last king of the Southlands is no longer alive, but he won't likely hear back from Galadriel almost away on his identity. Another proposal from Reddit Hrothgar underscore signing is that Elrond begins fitting the puzzle pieces together to unravel the mystery and perhaps even confront Halbrand. That may entail Elrond witnessing the desolation of Mordor firsthand, and Sauron could then attempt to manipulate him with the knowledge that he is a Maya, albeit a fallen one, by revealing Halbrand is not human, but rather a Maya come to rescue them. Now, all these talks about the elves, but what about the dwarves? Stay put because fans also 
also got this covered. Due to the cliffhanger that the reawakening Balrog provided for their own storylines in the previous episode, Durin the Fourth, Disa, and the other dwarves were regrettably absent from the season finale. Durin's bane is present, although it's unclear whether this portends that season two will focus on Kaza Doom's fall, an occurrence that occurs thousands of years later in the books, but if they pursue their own rings, they risk bringing about their own destruction. Redditor Castro Gossio speculates that perhaps Durin will gain control of Kaza Doom and resume mining, which would also bring the Balrog back into action. Even though Durin the Fourth's father appears to have abandoned him, the dwarf is, fortunately, friends with Elrond, an elf, just like in The Lord of the Rings. He might crave one or seven of the magnificent new rings after seeing them to help his family win back his father's favor. And then, things may take a turn between Sauron and Isildur. Isildur is probably still trapped beneath the flaming debris because, like the dwarves, he was absent from the season finale. Nevertheless, his steadfast steed, Beric, was set free to look for him. But it does indicate that in season two, his journey might run into Halbrand and or Adar. That possibly excites Reddit user Idiots with Nerf, who thinks a meeting between Halbrand and Isildur would be, quote, interesting. Having them interact would be a welcome and interesting development for those familiar with the text, even though it has previously been hinted that Isildur will ultimately fail in his attempt to destroy the One Ring, Halbrand might also bring Sauron to Pelagrir and from there back to Nenmenor, as Isildur last observed him just before Mount Doom erupted. In the War of the Last Alliance, Sauron will be vanquished by Isildur, but in this case, they might only be temporary friends. Moving forward, let's also talk about Greenwood the Great. All of the Southlanders, including Erendir, Bronwyn, Theo, and the others, are traveling to Pelergir. The clearest example of a Numenorean settlement is where Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli use the Army of the Dead to drive out the Corsairs in The Return of the King. According to Redditor Kluska-Ski, they might actually arrive at Greenwood the Great, the Sindar's capital. Erendir comes from Beleriand, which was destroyed after the First Age, so perhaps in the Greenwood, he can find new allies, including even Nori and the Stranger. They continue, quote, King Orifer and Prince Thranduil are presented and Erendir pleads for his help to combat the Uruks in Mordor. They are close by, and it would be a fun way for some of the Rings of Power's most endearing characters to get to know one another. And now, there's most likely development back in Numenor as well. Concerning Numenor, a few significant events there took place during the season finale. The dark sails in the harbor, which are significant, suggest that the king, Muriel's father, has passed away. He mistook the young Arian for Muriel, but just before he passed away, he let her visit the Palantir. While Arian's vision was not made visible, both Muriel and Galadriel saw Numenor being destroyed. According to Redditor, Tekken Mayada's Elendil and company will discover a Farazon coop in Numenor, which suggests that Farazon has likely taken advantage of the power vacuum. It would be the ideal situation for the queen to return and discover someone else occupying her throne. A coup is unavoidable since Farazon cannot be trusted. Despite what this Redditor believes, might have happen in the opening episode of Season 2. Now that we talked about the possible events of Rings of Power Season 2, when could we expect its premiere date? The popular fantasy series The Rings of Power has already been renewed for a second season, so fans can finally breathe a great sigh of relief. Even better, the start of production has already occurred. Although things are doing well and the cast and crew return to work in early October 2022, it might still be some time before a second season airs. It's undeniable that the high production values would have had a role to play in the 18 month length of season one, even though the COVID-19 outbreak was probably a contributing factor. With that, we're wrapping up today's episode about the best Reddit fan theories for Rings of Power season two. Do you have your own theory on what could happen? Let us know in the comment section below. And before you go, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more videos like these. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.